It is mail day again here at Paper and Moose. It is also another nice sunny summer day. People are doing outside work. So if you hear any shoveling, I'm sorry. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Here at Paper and Moose, I like to go out to flea markets, auctions, estate sales, yard sales, and try and find ephemera and also other vintage items, especially vintage holiday decor. I research, collect, and resell. But today is mail day where I open up packages that my lovely viewers have sent me. It's always amazing to see the treasures that they send via mail and the items that they are willing to part with and share with me and essentially with all of you. So thank you to all who have sent items. I'm actually going to the post office later today to pick up my mail from when I was away on vacation. I'm sure I will probably have to bring lots of bags with me for all the packages. So thank you again to everyone that has sent items. So let's get into it. First, this is from Island Chic Designs and Finds. They are frequenters to the channel and they comment a lot. And this package was actually sent the end of June. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I have it. So greetings from Florida, which I just returned from. Um, hi, Paper and Moose. I found this at my local thrift. You're the only Pam I know. Love your channel. Island Chick. I'm saying chic. Island Chick. Sorry. I guess I should have my scissors. And I just came from Walt Disney World. So Walt Disney World, Pam. What's funny is I found a similar mug like this in the trash probably a couple months ago and it had like Donald or Doug or something on it. So I left it, but this is great. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just got back from Disney World, as I said, and they don't really have the name mugs anymore. It mostly is, you know, number one grandma, number one mom, dad, number one pet sitter, greatest babysitter. Um, you know, they don't do all the name mugs, but this is great. Thank you so much, Island Chick. I hope that you are having a great time in Florida too. It rained every day when I was there, but that's nothing unusual for Florida at this time of year. Thanks again, that is great. This is from Leave It To Me Inc. In Seattle, Washington. Oh, look at that dog. Hello there. Found this at a local estate sale. Really too worn to sell, but I thought you might like it because it's Halloween. Puppy Luck Vintage on Etsy. So be sure to check out their Etsy store. Aww. Look how cute. These are great. The cone. The paper mache cone. Oh, this is in great shape. I mean, there's some wear, but still. You can put it up on the shelf. Super cute. Thank you so much. Puppy Luck Vintage. I'm going to add this to my Halloween decor. My deep window sills are great for items such as this. But yeah, old Halloween. This one's probably from, I would say, maybe the 80s. And you know, even there are some you know, crease lines and things like that. But they're still great for your own personal decor. You know, you don't want to pass up on vintage Halloween just because it has a little rips or tears at least I never do I've been known to pick up items that are in like you can't repair it at all but because it is old Halloween I will keep it so thank you again the next one we have is from Joe in Michigan I believe Joe has sent other items before so thank you again Joe you have a nice little letter 
Dear Miss Moose, thank you again for sharing your videos and adventures. I always enjoy watching them. Enclosed is a packet of old paper that you might be interested in. These are documents from a man named Louis Lavelle. Mr. Lavelle was born in Grafton, Vermont in 1816. Oh, Joe's done my research for me. Thank you. <laughs> Attended college at Middlebury College from 1832 to 1836 and then studied law. He came to Michigan in 1841 and became a lawyer in the town of Iona, where he spent the remainder of his life. He passed away in 1894. He was appointed Register of the United States Land Office in Iona and became a state circuit court judge in 1857 and served in that capacity until 1881, the timeline. The packet of papers, I believe, are some of his law office receipts from the year 1864. These were tied together with the string by Mr. Lovell at that time and placed in his desk where they remained until recently. The Civil War was still ongoing in 1864 and Abraham Lincoln was president, so these documents have survived untouched since that time. Mr. Lovell's desk was sold at an auction that I attended. I helped the new owner move the desk and load it into his truck. The new owner had no interest in the numerous papers in the desk and let me scoop them up for free. This packet was among those I rescued. I have not opened them and so I don't know exactly what they might be. They are now yours to discover 155 years later. Sincerely, Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. All you people have so much luck at thrift stores and auctions and antique malls. Like I. My luck has to change, but I'm lucky because, oh my goodness, because you sent them all to me. Oh my. So as Joe stated, these were in a desk. Um, he thinks they're 1864. I don't want to bend this too much. First National Bank of Iona, 1864. Well, Joe, guess what's going to be coming up soon in another video. <laughs> this is amazing. And see, it's always, you never know what to expect at an auction. So you have this desk, which I'm sure was a beautiful desk. The man that purchased the desk, no interest in the contents. Couldn't care less about them. So if Joe wouldn't have assisted, what would have happened to these? Would the man that bought the desk have just thrown them out? Would he even have bothered to look at them? Right place, right time. So, suspense. I'm going to, I don't know, maybe we can open just one. Eleven fifty. Our die, Waymaster. Weight of wagon. So you have whole weight and then weight of wagon. Interesting. This writing, soldier, something of Soldiers Aid Society in Iona, Michigan, $23 and $66, $23 and $66 over $100. Bersham and Page. So yes, this is going to require some more research. Fortunately, you did a lot of research for me already, Joe. So thank you. Six dollars and full of all. I think we need to offer a class on how to read this old script. I mean, it's beautiful, but you know, it, it takes patience and it takes time because if you can recognize the patterns or how they they write certain letters, then you're more apt to be able to decipher everything else. But thank you so much, Joe. Um, this is going into my research pile. I hope that the other papers that you found you know, were held a lot of history. I'm sure they did. And thank you for rescuing these from the desk. It is appreciated. The next package is a large one. This is from a Philly. Hello, Philly. I just came back from that airport. Oh my. What is this? Mm. 
me see. There's no letter. Maybe there's one inside. So it's U.S. Army recruiter. Huge. Let me make sure I didn't. No. Well, whoever, whomever sent this, oh, here it is. It's inside. Let's see. Um, from Francis in Philly. Dear Pam, I've been enjoying your channel for some weeks after being directed there by Taco Stacks. Yes, shout out to Taco Stacks. If you are a sub to my channel and if you're my channel and you somehow have missed out on Mr. Taco Stacks, please go over and check out his channel. Um, he has been a wonderful help to me and has gotten you know a lot of people to come over and look at my channel and I'm forever indebted to him for that. Um, he has great success with his garbage finds and auctions. He always manages to find great stuff at like super, super cheap prices. So I'm always envious. Oh, Fishtown. My cousin lives in Fishtown. Maybe you know him. Um, I've spent I spent over 40 years as a craftsman in high-end commercial printing and lithography. Downsizing now, and I've come to the inevitable realization that there are things say that nobody in my circle of friends and family are even remotely interested. You are not alone, <laughs> as can be seen by many of these mail videos. I've enclosed this project I worked on for the U.S. Army about five years or so after the Vietnam War. How interesting. The design reflects the Army's tact to a kinder, gentler model for recruitment. Good point considering the feelings you know, during the Vietnam War and after the Vietnam War. So very interesting. You know, a lot of times I guess you don't think of you know, recruitment or what's put out as that way, but in the military you have to, especially when you've gone through something such as Vietnam and you know, how do you get people to want to still be in the military. It's kind of an odd size and I always had a problem of finding somewhere to keep it. Sorry for a small bit of damage to the exterior box. Other than that, the inside is in its original condition. Hope you can do something with it. I highly doubt that there are many of these around, but I could be wrong. Good luck with your channel and I'll certainly keep you in mind for anything else that comes to the surface. Cordially, Frank. I do like the word cordially. Thank you, Frank. Um, and greetings from Fishtown. I was there. Man, what are these people doing? I'm sorry for all the noise. Um, is it a motorcycle? A lawnmower? Um, no, I was in Fishtown last time in, I think, the beginning of December, visiting my cousin. So I'm familiar with that area. So this is really neat. Here's how we're helping you put it all together. Oh my gosh. This is what your prospects will be reading the next few months. Does it come out? Go team. With your help, it will be some great new commercials on TV soon. Because of the current ban on paid broadcasts, the only hope these commercials have getting on air is you're getting out and knocking on doors. You've got to convince the stations to run them for free. We can't overemphasize the importance of TV to the Army's recruiting program. In the past, TV has, one, has been one of our best investments. However, since we must rely on public service instead of paid time now, we must also rely on your good relations with local stations. Help us help you do a better job. So interesting job interview. The 60 second commercial gives that kind of prospect a reason to sign. The delayed entry option in the central message. Join now, go later. Today's army wants you to join. Six months to say goodbye. Um, it deals with a young man who has to bid farewell to all his girlfriends. More than one? One at a time, he tells them he's going away to the army. Finally, he begins to confuse their names. 
a humorous approach to tell young men that the delayed entry plan is a viable program to enlist in the army now, and one that gives them time to tie up some loose ends, and the peace of mind in knowing what they'll be doing six months from now. Honey, I've got to say goodbye. This is gonna hurt me more than it'll hurt you, but I have to say goodbye. So he has like, he's on the beach, he's in a car like camping, fireplace during winter, at New Year's Eve party. And then the, oh my gosh. The last one, it says, cut to same guy pulling his head back after kissing someone standing in a doorway, unseen by a viewer. Young guy, goodbye mom. <sighs> Pulls on your heartstrings. Help us build an army people want. This is so interesting. Are they riding around on? Okay, I've got to stop. So they have radio spots, record. This is really neat. Look at that. The buck stops here. You take over. We've invested national advertising dollars to get names of interested prospects into your hands. The rest is now up to you. The recruiters had a tough job doing this, let me tell you. So this is a prompt card. Typical conversation. I see that you're a recent graduate of the school. Maybe you know classmates or neighbors' names. He or she just signed for the army and is now where they're stationed. I'm happy to see that you've answered our ad. Which particular you know, job, skill, education are you interested in? I think we have a film you'll enjoy on category entitled, refer to key film titles. I'd like to show it to you as well as give you a beautiful, beautifully illustrated poster. Hmm. This is really neat. And I think, you know what, I think a lot of people at the flea market, and I could be wrong, they might overlook something like this. I mean, for the person that collects military, I think they would be interested. But I think the other person, you know, just the general person that collects ephemera, might not be. Because they're going to think, oh, it's just another brochure. But it's completely different. You know, it's geared towards the you know the recruiting officers and especially like you said the time period you've got to think about what was going on then here's some posters it is, if your job puts you to sleep try one of ours my job does put me to sleep um in today's army you don't have to wait for the weekend to be yourself you could be living off the land in Arizona, shooting the rapids of the Colorado River, or scuba diving off the Florida Keys. How interesting. Thank you so much, Frank. This is, this is really neat. And the fact that you, know, you, you helped make it what it is, I'm sure that this took so much time to do, but the history behind this and the background That's what makes it, I think, really special to know, you know, the time period that this was coming out of and what it was used for and how the Army had to change their, you know, I guess their catch to get people into the military after the Vietnam War. So interesting. I'm glad you sent it to me. Thank you. So that wraps it up for today's mail. Thank you, Island Chick, Joe. Francis and Puppy Luck Vintage on Etsy. Sorry for all the noise. It's summertime. That's what happens. Everyone's out and about, but regardless. Thank you so much for the mail. I have more research to do. We're actually gonna delve into the world of these 1864 papers and see what this lawyer was up to. Have some tea in my new mug and um, enjoy the rest of the day. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you again for everyone that has sent mail. I have plenty of more mail videos to come. So if your mail wasn't featured in this video, watch for it in an upcoming video. And hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter around here next time. So thank you all again for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.